I started playing football way back uh, when I was still at primary school. And uh, even it goes even beyond that. You know, when you grew up living in the ghetto, you play plastic balls until your parents call you to, to, to come and sleep. So I used to, 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 to make people laugh uh, by saying that I think I started playing football when I was in my mother's tummy because she, she used to tell me that I used to kick like hell. So I started playing football when I was still in my mother's tummy. When I was now playing football at primary level, uh, I had an opportunity to be scouted by uh, an academy which was called Aga the Sheneti Soka Academy and they robbed me into their ranks uh, when I was in grade five. The accident was something that was unfortunate. You know, it, it's something that, that many people uh, face day to day and unexpectedly, you know. Uh, it was on, on, on the 11th of, of March, 2018. And uh, I was coming from, from a friend's birthday party. So on my way home, there was uh, a commuter, commuter on the bus driver who was in the inner lane and I was driving on the outer lane. He just cut in front of me. So trying to avoid collision, that's when I veered off the road. Uh, I was just hearing people screaming, trying to pull me out of, of the wreckage. So it was, it, was an, it was a disastrous accident. It was very unfortunate that it, it, it befell me when I least expected it. When you are passionate about something, it's not something that you can give up so easily. I've been passionate about football way, from way back, you know. It's, it's been something that was in me. It was a God-given talent that God gave me. So when I, I, I was involved in that accident, I never gave up on, on the gift that God had given me because some calamitous situation had, had befallen me. I just thought that if I can get another chance to go back and play, I would grab it with both hands. And the next thing that I got, the doctors even told me that if, if, if you're strong enough, you can, you can go back and, and, and play. You can go back and build on, on, on the new you and start to, to, to play football again. And I took that in, in a very good spirit and I was motivated from, from inside. And the faith that I had that it was a God-given talent it, it was going to be over until him only says it's, it's, it's now over. So I kept on pushing. I kept on training through the, the, the rehab process, though it was not easy, but I, I had to give it all. I had to give it my all, I had to give it my best until I, 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 I came back to play again. If you, you, you aspire to be a professional footballer, you just have to be disciplined. You just have to be disciplined, no matter the peer that is out there, for you to be involved in things that, that drain your energy, that damages the body that you, you use when you play football. You just have to be disciplined. You just have to work, work extra hard for you to, to, to reach, to play at the top, top level. Uh, my name is Adlaj Zirekwi, uh, Caps United captain and former Warriors defender.